How can couples improve communication to increase satisfaction in the sexual realm? What impact do social expectations have on our sexual life? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Open and honest communication about sexual desires, limits, and expectations is essential. Listening and understanding each other's needs contribute to greater sexual satisfaction. Social expectations affect sexual life by influencing cultural norms, pressure to meet standards, body image, gender roles, and the definition of sexual success. They can generate pressure and anxiety, affecting self-esteem and authenticity in relationships. In Mexico, online and social media-based sexual education campaigns targeting teenagers have been created using language and visual content adapted to their youth culture to address sexuality topics in an accessible and relevant way. Mobile device consumption. With the proliferation of smartphones and tablets, more people are consuming pornography on mobile devices, making access and privacy easier. MRI studies. MRI studies have shown that the brain areas activated during orgasm are similar in both genders, suggesting that the experience is more similar than previously thought. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, involving one orgasm after another without a refractory period, enabling continuous pleasure. Muscle training. Some men may benefit from training the pelvic floor muscles, such as Kegel exercises, which can strengthen control over ejaculation by improving bladder retention capacity. Myths and stereotypes. Open relationships are often surrounded by myths and stereotypes, such as the idea that they are unstable or less meaningful than monogamous relationships, which is not always true. Naval fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards navels, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's navel or engaging in erotic activities involving navel stimulation. Non-physical contact. Foreplay. Foreplay doesn't always involve direct physical contact. Women can enjoy more subtle foreplay, such as sending flirty text messages, exchanging seductive looks, or sharing sexual fantasies, which can increase anticipation and desire. Object trapping fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from being trapped in objects such as tight clothing, furniture, or even confined spaces. Open communication. Open and honest communication with a partner is crucial for discovering and satisfying each woman's sexual preferences. Discussing what is enjoyed and what is not, as well as trying new positions together, can strengthen the connection and intimacy in the relationship. Orgasm in pregnancy. Female orgasms may have a positive effect on pregnancy. Some research suggests that orgasms may increase the chances of conception, possibly due to contractions aiding sperm movement. Orgasm gap. There exists an orgasm frequency gap between men and women in heterosexual relationships. Women often have fewer orgasms than men in these situations, posing an intimacy concern. Orgasm without stimulation. While less common, some women may experience orgasms without physical stimulation, solely through mental or emotional arousal, sometimes called a brain orgasm. Origin of fetishes. Fetishes can develop from early experiences, emotional associations, cultural influences, or simply sexual arousal towards a particular object. Paraphilia refers to sexual attraction to unusual objects, situations, or activities. Examples include exhibitionism, voyeurism, and fetishism. Partner's role. The partner's attitude and response to premature ejaculation can influence how the problem is perceived and managed. Open communication and mutual support can be crucial in addressing the situation. Pelvic floor. Training. 
Both men and women can benefit from pelvic floor training to enhance the intensity and control of their orgasms. Exercises like Kegel exercises can strengthen the muscles involved in the sexual response. Personal care. Personal care, including hygiene, style, and health, can also influence attraction. Physical exercise and erectile. Dysfunction. Staying physically active can help prevent erectile dysfunction, as regular exercise improves cardiovascular health, promotes blood circulation, and reduces the risk of obesity, all of which contribute to erectile dysfunction. Pleasure without sex. It's possible to experience sexual pleasure without the need for sexual intercourse. Erogenous stimulation of other body parts, such as the neck, breasts, or thighs, can lead to orgasm in some individuals. Pornography addiction. There has been debate about whether pornography can be addictive, with some studies suggesting that excessive consumption can lead to psychological dependence similar to other addictions. Pornography and technology. Technology has democratized the production and distribution of pornography with the creation of online platforms where users can upload and share their own content. Positive body language. Confident posture and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive. Posture and body language. Confident posture and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive as they convey confidence and self-esteem. Preference for long hair. Some research suggests that people often find individuals with long hair more attractive. This could be related to perceived health and fertility. Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. Prevention of mother-to-child transmission. With proper treatment during pregnancy and childbirth, the transmission of certain STDs from mother to baby can be prevented or significantly reduced. Professional support. Seeking professional help from a sexual therapist or a healthcare provider specialized in sexuality is crucial to effectively address anorgasmia and find treatment strategies tailored to individual needs. Psychological origins. Fetishes can have different psychological origins, from early childhood experiences to subconscious associations developed over time. Some studies suggest that fetishes may arise as coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety or stress. Psychology of jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.